Article 2 of our Constitution says the President shall nominate justices of the Supreme Court. The President Trump has decided to select federal judge Amy Coney Barrett to succeed Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Leader McConnell and the Republican Senate majority have no right to fill it. To jam this nomination through the Senate is just an exercise in raw political power. The House could move to impeach the President as a way of stalling and preventing the Senate from acting on this nomination. We have our options. We have arrows in our quiver. We're going to have to blow up the entire system. Abortion is the number one form of mass killing around the world. People think of war, famine, and genocide as taking numerous amount of lives, but abortion actually kills more people. The left likes to talk about pro-choice. They always like to focus on choice. They never say they're pro-abortion, but we have to focus on the choice to do what? And that is the choice to kill. It's the choice to take another's life, a life that is not your own. Democrats really celebrate this. They celebrate the fact that a woman can get an abortion at nine months. So when they passed this in New York, for example, they lit up the One World Trade Center pink to celebrate this as women's empowerment, women's freedom, abortion is healthcare. Ralph Northam in Virginia has talked about how even after a baby is born, they can be killed if that's what the parents choose. So we're at the point where really it's killing on demand. I'm all for the right to choose. Men and women should have the right to choose when it comes to almost every facet of life, choosing their destiny, but I don't think they should have the right to take another's life. Like, my choice ends at the point where it reaches you, right? Like, I can't go take your life, I can't take anyone's life. And I don't think that they should be taking life of an innocent baby. Your human rights are intrinsic. Your value comes from the fact that you're a human being. And I think we should all be able to support basic human rights, which is the right to life, the right literally just to be born.